Hello, Nick Schwab, assistant horticulturalist at Sarah P. Duke Gardens and beekeeper. Uh, so today we just had our first swarm of the season. I usually do my best to try to prevent swarming, but sometimes they get the best of you. And this hive right here, our biggest swarm, uh, just swarmed about 20 minutes ago. And I'm going to try to give you guys a, a look at how we handle that and what it looks like. All right, so once they swarmed, they all congregated together and they are right here in this branch we're going to try to get up there and shake them back into a box see if we can collect them and save them all right so now here we are we're up close and personal with uh, the swarm that came out of our biggest hive um, as you can see it's pretty big it covers a good portion of this branch uh, not sure on the number of bees on here but we're going to try to shake it in to this box right here and we'll see how it goes. Our goal here is to get the queen in the box and the rest of these will follow. Yeah, this one. Body that has frames. We'll try to get the queen. It's very similar to what's all in the package. Except for the package came from another one of your hives. So if we got the queen, they'll all migrate into here, and the rest of those bees up here will follow down, uh, attracted to their pheromones. So this is what it looked like in the hive body with frames. We'll see if they start migrating in if the queen is here. And you can see some of the bees are have their butts in the air and are fanning. And that's a good indication that they're trying to let the other bees know that the queen is in here. So they're fanning her pheromone to let the other bees up here know that they can come on down. They have their new house. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes since I shook them into the cardboard box down there and then dumped them into this hive body with the lid upside down and some frames in there. And they have seemed to have stayed put. We have some stragglers here on the branch where the swarm was so um, we have the fortunate scenario where we happen to have a lift at the gardens right now and so I was able to more easily place this hive body on this branch which is about 10 feet off the ground and I'm gonna leave this here for about another half hour or so and as you can see, the bees that are on the branch are now marching or walking into the hive, which is an excellent sign that the queen is inside. And so I'm going to leave them to sort it out, and I'll come back in about 30 minutes and place this hive at its new location. And just some fun facts, a full strength hive can be 50 to between 50 and 60,000 bees and when they swarm uh, the original queen takes about 40 to 50 percent of those bees with her when they swarm and so this is probably between 20 and 25,000 bees um, we can know better if we took an actual measurement of weight but I'm not going to do that but as you can see this branch is already it's hard to see, but it's already clearing off because all these bees are marching right on into the hive. And the reason why the box is overflowing is because there's not enough room in there for all these bees. This is way too many bees for one box. So when I set this up, I'm going to give them some more room and it'll be another 
happy, uh, thriving hive. So, if you ever are out and about and you see a cluster of bees like the one you saw today, try to give your local extension agent or uh, extension office a call, and they can put uh, somebody in contact to um, come collect those bees. They're not in any danger. They're not going to sting, most likely, and they are just a healthy hive that naturally split into two. So that's all we have for you today, but if you have any other questions, just shoot us an email. Uh, have a good one.